Morning everyone. It is a new month. We have made it to the 1st of May and we're now in what's it, day one, stage four. Um, and I think I'm going to start renaming our lockdown days to lockout days until we can return back to the gym. So it's lockdown slash lockout day 36. And we have, we've got two different workouts because I know what's going to happen today or what has happened or what is happening. And we will get to the second workout. We will get to the run now. Be patient. So for now, the actual CrossFit workout, we have as many rounds or reps as possible in 30 minutes. If you want to shorten it, you can go as many rounds or reps in 20 minutes. You play with it. We have 20 renegade rows, 50 meters of sled push or the sled pull, and then 100 meters of any of the carries, whether it's a farmer's carry, the athlete's carry, and the fireman's carry. So let's go through it. We've got 20 renegade rows. We've got a few, various, few options today. If you've got a dumbbell and a kettlebell, or two dumbbells, or two kettlebells, let's go with that. So we're going to go with, there's one option where we do one push-up, okay, row, row, is one. So push-up, row, row. That will be one rep, do ten reps, then change the implements over and do 10 reps on the other side. That'll be one option. Other option is if you only have one implement, or only choose one implement, and then just do push-up, row, push-up, row. Do 10 on the one side, move the, the piece of equipment over, do 10 on the other side. Okay. Another option is if you want to take out some of the push-ups, still going back to the two implements, then just stay up with no push-up and just do 10 rows each arm, switch implements, 10 rows each arm. If you had one implement, then just stay one implement and do 10 rows on the one side, 10 rows on the other side. So that's if you want to do with or without the push-ups. You have a bar. We can do the landmine renegade rows. So how it works is you'll jam your bar into any corner you can find. Lever it up with dumbbell, kettlebell, pillow, whatever you want. A brick also works. You're going to lie one arm on the bar and one arm off. If you want to do it with push-ups, you do a push-up and then row, push up and row. If you want to leave the push up out, then just do the row without the push up. So there you'll do 10 on each arm to give you your 20. If it's too easy, then go 20 each arm if you're not doing the push up. So that takes care of your renegade rows. And then we go into the 50 meter sled push or drag. We did the sled drag last week where you have a weight on top of a towel, tablecloth, sheet, mat, and you dragged it behind you. So you had your weight here, you lifted the mat or the towel or the tablecloth, and you dragged it behind you forwards, or you faced the weight and you drag it that way. That's your sled drag. What you can do today is just reverse it where you've got your weight on the plate or on the tablecloth or wherever and you're going to push it from behind. So depending on the, the uh, slipperiness of your surface, you can have double the weight. But other than that, find a weight that you can push and then just push up and down. The distance that you need to acquire your uh, 50 meters sled push or pull. 
You can do both. You can pull it one way, push it back, however you want to play. Yeah, so that takes care of your 50 meter sled pushes. Then we also have 100 meters of carries. So we have the three carries, your farmer's carry, right? So your farmer's carry, again, if you have a bar, dumbbell, kettlebell, odd object, whatever you want to do, farmer's carry will be by your side. So do 50 meters on the one arm and then switch arms 50 meters on the other. If you want to do, again, single implement, you can do the front rack carry and again, 50 meters on the one arm and then switch over 50 meters on the other. I know some of you guys like to avoid the front rack and you cheat it and you rest your weight on top of your shoulder. Don't do that. Okay? It's just not practical. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to get you any stronger. The idea of a front rack position is to engage the core and get your stabilizers working. So if you're going to do front rack, do front rack or don't do that position. Okay? Um, the other uh, carry, we also have the um, Atlas carry. So whether you've got your medicine ball, you can hold it here or your bucket or your odd object. You can also hold it in front of you depending on how heavy it is. And you're going to do your Atlas carry carrying it there. Again, if it's heavy enough, like let's say an Atlas stone, what you can do is pull it up but again, you're going to get lopsided and you're defeating the object of working the core. So preferably do your Atlas carry in front. If you don't have any kind of weight, then find someone or something or some power. Then you're going to turn this way and you carry this way as your Atlas carry. Okay? And you can just walk up and down that way. Then, if you need, so that's your Atlas carry, that's just your front carry. For your fireman's carry, stand up. Okay, so your fireman's carry, what happens is you find your partner, you put your partner over your shoulders, okay, and you're going to carry your partner up and down that way. So you'll carry your weight on your farmer's carry. But get your partner right up onto the shoulders, okay, so it's more comfortable for you that'll get you loaded up. So that takes care of your fireman's carry. So you've got any of those carries for your 100 meters. Cool, so just to confirm, 20 renegade rows. So that is 10 rows each arm and 20 push-ups or just 10 rows each arm if you want to leave the push-ups out. Then we've got the 50 meter sled push or sled pull. And then we also have the 100 meter Either farmers carry, Atlas carry, or firemen's carry. Get as many rounds as you can in 30 minutes. Now, because of the freedom that's been given, I know what's going to happen is most of you are going to use your exercise time to run. That's cool. So, if you want to go run, bear in mind you haven't been running. Okay. So, for those that have been running and have been doing cardio or aerobic capacity, you guys can push for a kind of a five kilometer time trial. So to try to do five kilometers in under 30 minutes, uh, those that have been running and do run, obviously you'll push a little bit harder. Um, for those that haven't been running but do want to run, then go for a 30 minute run, walk, run, walk. Try not to go for a gold medal. You haven't been training running, we, we're not ready for that. So don't push too hard. Yeah, but just get out and about and do your 30 minutes of running. For those that don't want to run, uh, but still want to get out and are planning to cycle, go out for a one to two hour cycle. Again, don't try to break any records. It's not the Cape Epic. Just get out and about. You haven't been doing these exercises, so go get a feel and just go for the freedom and get out there for some time. All right, so don't try to break any records in your cardio stuff that you get out to today. Um, so for those that want to go only on the capacity or the cardio, go out there and do it. If you want to come back into a later session, later in the evening when lockdown has already kicked in after 9 a.m., um, then go for your CrossFit session. Um, 
that gives you both angles because obviously that you'll only be able to do between six and nine in the morning so good luck your choice whether you go option a just the crossfit option b just the cardio or option c cardio in the morning come back and do the crossfit or cardio in the morning and do your crossfit in the evening so lots you spoiled for choice today lots to keep you going for lockout day 37 and yes welcome to may day which is also a public holiday see you tomorrow goodbye